Well, good evolutionary time. It's a good time to be in time, isn't it? Well, oh, I'm ahead of myself in time. I forgot to introduce myself as I once again be muddled, be frocked and be mused, being deep locked Choprat. I'm locked deep in time, deeply. And well, I'm in a rut. So I need to unlock myself undeeply and go back in time to unlock myself in deep thought. So it is I once again, deep locked Choprat, and I'm seeking a way to, well, undo myself, unlock myself in time. And how do I do that? Well, we go back to the beginning, before time. We go back to BC, before the clock. That's what BC stands for, B for the clock. And what do we find? Well, we find the beginnings of evolution. That's where it began before time. And well, what do we find? Well, we find the beginnings of evolutionary thought, where thought and evolving become one. Become one what? When they become one where? Well, before one is 12. And before 12 was 11. So we'll start at 11 and go to 12 and then go to one. Okay, we're at one now. And we're going to where? We're going to two. Two. So we have evolution and thought at one and two. Evolutionary, one, and thought, two. So we have evolutionary thought, and we're progressing to where? To three. To three o'clock. So we're, we're midstream, midway, mid-afternoon in the time zone of evolutionary thought. And, well, we're getting kind of hungry in a little bit, so we'll be approaching five o'clock when it's time for dinner time to, like... Um, feed ourselves and keep our stomachs full so we can keep on thinking about evolutionary thought and where we're going. So where are we going? Well, we don't know because we're evolving. So we don't know where we're going, do we? No, we don't. Because it's always evolving. Where? Forward. So we have BC, before the clock, before time. And now we have AD, which means after dinner, after dinner time. We're approaching, we're approaching AD and after dinner. So then we've gone from B.C., before the clock, before time, to A.D., which is after dinner. Then we'll be approaching B.D., which is, well, bedtime. And that's a good time to consider evolutionary thought because we become kind of dreamy and kind of sleepy and that zone of, like, well, sleep zone. And then, well, we're approaching the time zone. So we're in that sleepy time, dreamy time kind of time zone thing. We're dreaming, but we're also kind of tired before we go to bed. And then we're thinking, okay, what arrives next in evolutionary dream time, sleepy time, time zone? Well, we know that we get up and we've arrived where? Well, we've arrived into tomorrow. Pretty slick how evolution works. Evolution works pretty slippery. You know, we were before time, the BC, then AD, after dinner, bedtime, dreamy time, sleepy time, hollow time. Just, well, we're waiting for a new time. The new time arrives when? Tomorrow. I've got that all wrapped up and figured out. I need to uh, set my clocks back now for daylight savings time.